Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I just watched Maniac, not the remake, the OG, and I'm going to give some thoughts about it. So if you haven't seen this movie, literally stop this review and watch it because it's awesome and I really enjoyed it. It focuses on our main character, Frank, who through systematic abuse from his mother has become a maniac who preys on women and scalps them and then takes said scalps and nails them to mannequin heads. So if you've watched my Taurus Trap review, you will know the exact level of disdain that I hold for mannequins and dear God, maybe that's where this started because I remember watching this movie as a teenager, the guy I was dating at the time had borrowed the DVD from a friend and I freaking loved it so much and also equally hated the mannequins. This movie literally combines one of my greatest loves, who is Tom Savini, and one of my greatest hates, which is mannequins. This is a, a weird feeling. We follow Frank as he butchers these women and then becomes infatuated and builds a friendship with a female photographer named Anna, whom he kind of selects victims around her, which is interesting. I'm just going to leave it off there because this is a spoiler-free review and I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen the film. There's now a tiny cat on my lap who's demanding attention. Hello. So... What did I like about this movie? The effects are so amazing, and that is 100% due to Tom Savini, as he not only has a part in the movie, but he also does the special effects. I felt like they didn't do that thing where they cut away. They kind of kept the camera on the gore that was happening to give you that horrible feeling like you're being forced to watch something you really don't want to watch. I also felt like uh, Joe Spinell, who plays Frank, did an incredible job. He's He was such a good actor. He really sold all the facets of Frank's character. And you just genuinely are terrified of him and also feel really bad for him. At least I did, because he wasn't born a monster. He was kind of created into a monster from the abuse at his mother's hand. Now there's a cat on my microphone. Hello. So, my dislikes. I guess the only dislike I have is that there's a really unnecessarily long photo shoot montage thing with Anna and some of the models, which it's fine. You become familiar with Rita, who's one of Anna's friends, and she's one of the models whom uh, Frank comments on a picture of her. So, I guess it is vital to the story. It was just kind of boring. I do rate this movie a solid 4.5 out of 5. I could watch this movie over and over and over. It's just such a classic to me. It is one of my favorite movies. And I, d I definitely recommend everyone watch it. Give it a chance. And it's a well-known fact that I'm not really the biggest fan of slasher movies. Which I would consider this a slasher because these slashes women's scalps off their bodies. He also doesn't use the same weapon every time for the dispatch, which I thought was interesting. For example, he uses a double barrel shotgun to dispatch the lady who's hanging out with Tom Savini. He used what looked like a sword for um, one of the other characters. It was, you know, variety is the spice of life, I suppose. I found this, I think it was through the Shutter app, Amazon Prime. Shutter has some really good stuff sometimes if you look, but definitely check it out. Um, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Did you see the remake and what were your thoughts on that? Because I vaguely remember watching it, but as I can't remember a darn thing other than I think Elijah Wood was in it, that's about the impact it had on me. Maybe I should give it another watch, but I really don't want to. Much like the Wizard of Gore remake, I love Crispin Glover, but no thanks. I'll just watch Willard or Back to the Future. But if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. 
Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts, as I said. Hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and my reviews are available in podcast form on iTunes via the Farsighted Network, and now I also have my own channel, so yay. And I guess that about wraps it up. Uh, I told you not to go out tonight. <music>